Hello, everybody, and welcome to the South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. Or for, for Yay, good might, movie. For, or those who might prefer the South Park the movie for, for simple terms. Uh, yeah, what this... are you talking about? We've already un- commentated over Enchanted. <laughs> surprisingly, surprisingly, unlike other movies based on famous cartoons, this wasn't made like when the show was like on its season five or six or ten or anything like that. No, it was actually made well uh, uh, only three years after the show premiered. So it's interesting um, that uh, the show got so popular uh, in so quickly to the point where they had made a Hollywood movie out of it. And this movie. <laughs> Uh, one one particular cool thing about this movie is that it's actually written and directed by Trey Parker and Matt Stone, the creators of South Park. Basically, it's made yeah. by the exact same team that makes the show. So this is pretty, and it's even in canon with the show, mm-hmm. even though even though it stands on its own as a, with its own story. Yeah. Was, uh, don't worry though, the show later actually... acknowledges it. <laughs> Indeed. It was a movie that actually made me like the series because I was not keen before this point. Yeah, I, think this is I wouldn't blame like, you. Person for into the series. All right. Uh, yeah, this was a, this was an introduction for a lot of people because this movie was incredibly popular and talked about when it first came out. Start right before the Paramount logo shows up. Uh, uh, you should be seeing a black screen and you should you should be in sync with us. <laughs> All, right. All, right. All right. Okay. Three, two, one. Click. Do 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 do. Wait. Sorry. Wrong. Wrong company. <laughs> <laughs> Another cool thing that uh, was also this was also a, a product of the fact that this was made back in the early days of the show is that uh, this is a musical as well. Yeah. So it's a South Park musical. So two things. Well, 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 well. Season <laughs> season one season one also had a couple musical numbers. So this was just. Uh... It was one thing Trey and Matt proved is that they can even they can write really great songs. <laughs> yeah, and that's why they're Tra- yeah a yeah bottom. yeah the song the songs are actually made by them as well. And they have a Broadway show called The Book of Mormon. Yeah, yeah. Also, which, which was a big Tony winner. And also, Shira, keep in mind, this, this movie was so big, made such a big impact, but one of the songs actually made it uh, to the Oscars uh, premiere, song by actually Robin Williams. <laughs> so is he the main character? or uh, Stan, yeah, Stan is kind of a, the main character for a while, but uh, uh, in recent seasons, we've had... Uh, Kyle kind of be the main character for a bit. Basically, it's Deji, a, to put it like this, um, we and Matt feel like it. Basically, Deji, here's how it goes. Um, sort of similar to The Simpsons uh, back then, they sort of had a like clear Bart lead protagonist. That was basically yeah. Uh, well, basically, Deji, um, yeah, for the first few seasons, Stan was the main protagonist since he was, you know, the straight man to everything, as well was his father, the straight man to the adult matters. Until later seasons, where it pretty much became focused on the four: uh, Stan, Kenny, and Kyle, Carmen. and of course Why Carmen. Why is Carmen still alive? <laughs> well, he's the most popular character in the show. Yeah, so. but no one likes him. <laughs> well, well it's, one of those, it's, one of, it's one of those things, uh, Deji, where people love to hate him. Yeah, but he no- he doesn't really get much of his comeuppance. No, he does. He does. Just not as much as um, you'd expect. And he's quite di- he's quite different this season. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I didn't it, think it, I'd it, not watch the show. Out. It, it's I actually something you. I gen. No, no. I I know. I know how it sounds, but it's actually something I had to get used to. <laughs> I will say it though, there's. Scary. I will say though, <laughs> there's one thing I don't really care for in later seasons was how they sort of flanderize Stan's dad. Oh, you mean uh, honestly, Jova? I prefer crazy Randy over normal Randy, honestly. Yeah, but Before we had I... so many other characters that were already that. It was nice to have a straight man adult character, just like there was a straight man for Stan. Hmm, I guess. Uh, sure. <laughs> so this is the opening song number, Mountain Town, which basically pretty much sums up what, how life is for the four kids at South Park. Yes. Mm-hmm. So where exactly is in this quiet town? So where exactly does this show take place? In, in um, South Park, Colorado. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually near the border with Canada, I think. Yeah. Something. Ah, uh, cheesy poofs. 
Cheesy Pooms are actually the potion of the of the South Park Stick of Truth game. <laughs> so that will say. <laughs> Ironic. This is, also because... this is really a hilarious in hindsight because when this movie was made, Saddam was still alive, I think. And then, yeah, like was... a few weeks later, I think was when he was killed. Mm-hmm. All right. So, what's the plot of the movie? You might wonder. Well, actually, the the plot in typical train and Matt fashion, it's not only a, a great, uh, funny story on its own merit, but there's full social commentary regarding to what South Park was going through at the time. You'll see how exactly. <laughs> I think there's literally only one South Park episode that isn't social commentary. <laughs> <laughs> like the movie we're watching. <laughs> yeah, it's. I think it's the something that Doug mentioned. You can say like a specific number of swearing words before your movie actually can get banned after the air rating. That's and, pretty much uh, the case. Uh, and so far in this movie, actually stayed under the limit by one digit or something. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ding. Jesus, Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, for those who are not familiar with the show, Terrence and Philip is basically supposed to be what most critics of South Park at the time felt South Park was just nothing but stupid fart jokes. And that's basically what Terrence and Philip is. It's basically a critique on the critics. <gasps> That's a good reason, I guess. (laughs) 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 And now here's my favorite song. Oh, this one's your favorite song? Yeah. Like, back in the days when this movie came out, like, me and my friends would would quote and sing this song all the time. I know you got attacked by your teachers. God, do you remember that episode when they were all ninjas? Yes. Yeah. 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 The, the anime episode. Oh my god, I, I This was actually true. This was actually true, remember. Uh, South Park's Pick a and Uncut was rated R, so obviously kids couldn't get in without a parental guardian. So at the time, uh, this was actually kind of kind of accurate uh, how a lot of kids uh, uh, were envious of those who actually got to see it. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> 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 Look at Jesus. Yeah, that's common. <laughs> well, 
Wow, I hate you. I hate you already. You know, it's kind of ironic, but Gregory is literally the only. You know, it's ironic. Gregory is literally the only character in this movie who never shows up in the show. I think. Mm hmm. Basically, at the time, Stan still hadn't become. Um, was still was not dating Wendy, so this, he was still at that time where he couldn't tell her anything because you know every time he gets near Wendy, he gets nervous and he throws up. Well, so it, is, doesn't so... he keep throwing up for a little bit into their relationship? Yeah, 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 yeah. But ev eventually, he does. Uh, so it, it, sometimes they do bring back that joke for the sake of fan service. Sometimes, but yeah. so for the most part, it's done. They, yeah. So what? So what you're saying is that the show has character development. There's yeah. a... oh, no. yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. So unlike what a lot of the the haters will have you believe, South Park has a lot of plot and character development that goes you, on over the course you mean of its they twenty seasons. Care about what they're writing up for, even That's though it's not... a comedy show. I get the feeling well, you're comparing this to a certain show that does the opposite. Let's of that, uh, no, 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 let's no. not uh, get into a discussion about it's, irrelevant it's, stuff, please. No, it's a, it's not Family Guy. I'm just saying most comedy shows don't really want to evolve their characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, give more, more comedy shows credit. Honestly, they actually sometimes do do that despite their shortcomings. South Park balances out its comedy with uh, with uh, mostly social commentary. Mm -hmm. This scene right here is actually the first scene I ever saw from this movie before watching the full thing. I dare say, Deji, even Cartman gets character development. I don't believe you. Especially oh, in later seasons. He, in later seasons, really yeah. No, Basically, no one, no one did that at first, Deji, but believe me. It I'm not yeah. shitting you, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, well, well, I guess if she was saying it, it must be true. It is surprisingly. <laughs> one of my favorite characters, Mr. Mackey. Okay. Jesus, the owl. Oh God, the, the owl. owl. Just as surprised as you are. Believe it or not, Deji, there is a dark, deep history <laughs> behind that owl poster. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you really don't know him that well. Uh-oh. So yeah, this is where the social commentary in this particular movie becomes clear. South Park is basically commentating on the soccer moms uh, uh, who were mad at the show for, quote-unquote, destroying children. Yeah. Uh, it, hey, was hey. A, it was a big thing even in my, even my country. That was also one of the reasons why my parents uh, didn't let me watch the show at first. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My mom didn't really know I was watching the show. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it was like that for all, most of us. I yeah, never really had the trouble because I never really got interested in the show until I was well of age to actually watch it. Well, my mom just didn't want me watching cartoons in general when I was like 10. She's like, 10 year olds don't watch but again, cartoons. Keep, 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 yes, also, keep also in mind, my parents, for the same reason, didn't want to watch me actual fucking Pokemon. Seriously, ten oh, year olds God. don't watch Pokemon Christmas. is satanic. Remember, no, 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 no. Surprisingly enough, it wasn't quite like that. It was for the um, the animalistic reason because it's uh, oh, it okay. actually uh, for when we could encourage the animal fighting. Jesus Christ! Never mind That's the ten. fact that games of Pokemon ten. nowadays <laughs> actually <laughs> emphasize the fact of friendship <laughs> over the season. Oh, chef, I miss you so much. And for and for. Unfortunately, Isaac Hayes, the actor who played Chef, died in 2011, so unfortunately yeah, but, we never but, got the character well, back. But well, they killed off his character before he died. They did, yeah. yeah. It's, it's because Isaac Hayes wanted out of, wanted out of the yeah, show, so yeah, right, yeah, yeah, Trey Matt wrote him. Yeah, the yeah, unfortunately, he was, spite unfortunately but even back then he was my favorite character, so I kind of had to deal with that. Yeah, he kind of left yeah. because of Trey and Matt's jabs at Scientology, and honestly, I back the jabs in Scientology. If anything I've heard about Scientology, <laughs> Is to be true, it's not that good. They, they make fun of everything, though. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I mean, rarely have they ever Honestly, gone too far. The, 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 only fun, the, only thing, the only thing that they didn't make fun of, uh, but that's because they did make fun of them backwards, were the Mormons. <laughs> You're forgetting about the All About Mormons episode. Well, yeah, that, that, that's the thing, Pedro. They make fun of them by making them be really nice and likable people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but don't forget the theme song. Uh, dum, 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 dum. Uh, oh, yeah, I mentioned it in the bikini. This is a natural reference to an earlier episode of the show.
So yeah, clearly the Terrence and Philip movie is destroying children. Well, admittedly though, okay, this is kind of a double-edged issue, admittedly. If it's encouraging kids to do bad stuff, then yeah, that does call for attention. However, the worst it seems to be doing is just having them swear. Now, admittedly, swear also, words aren't always the best to use, And also, keep your mind of uh, pe 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 uh, parents over-exaggerated. <laughs> Not just that, Teo, but if parents are allowing their kids to watch movies that are uh, uh, rated R and not even bothering to explain to them what's about the True. movie and talk to them about things, then they're not being pro. Uh, that if they if they can't be if they, if they if they're shitty parents, then it's their fault. It's like it's like with, with video games, you know, parents will let their kids play See, Call of Duty. Yeah, here you go. Oh, oh, why my kid is so violent? Oh, sorry. Yeah, this Canadian guy is basically trained Matt talking directly to the soccer moms, basically. One thing I. I've learned from watching the news is that in a lot of parents' minds, it's everyone else's fault but theirs. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's one. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Just wait for Justin Bieber. Uh, we're at uh, 1439. 40. Oh. Shoot, I am ahead. Okay, I'll just pause at uh, 1510. Guys, chill out. <laughs> All right, hold on a bit. No problem. <laughs> Rehabilitation. Can I punch the guy? Uh, all right, no, Jovan, no, 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 click. <laughs> oh, this one. <laughs> okay. Fun f here's a fun fact, by the way. Mr. Mackey was actually inspired by uh, the, the Beavis and Butthead's teacher because uh, Trey and Matt were huge fans, are still, I'm guessing, huge fans of Mike Judge and his show Beavis and Butthead. And, and, and the Beavis and Butthead's teacher, who was a hippie, also said this McKay thing. And that McKay thing that Mackey says is actually a direct reference to that. Mm -hmm. Charming. <laughs> That's another movie we have to do at some point. That he was in Butthead movie because that one is also awesome. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> <laughs> Get high on pottery. <laughs> but yeah, even so, on paper, this strategy seems also to be good because, you know, since they learned the swear words from music, through the musical, it's only natural that we try to fix that with a musical. Huh. Yeah, uh, yeah. Qu qu that foreign exchange student, what, what's his name? Gregory. Gregory, so he, he was just made for a rival the... for Stan, right? In this specific movie, yes. He, like Jova said, he doesn't show up in the show. Which, yeah, again, bit, is odd, cool. but eh. I guess they really don't have any reason to bring him back. No. Well, the, well, well Stan the and weird, when they get well, together at the end of like, the movie, well, so he kind of lost his purpose right at the end of the movie anyway. Yeah. I say it's weird because every other character they have brought back at least once, or at least, you know, referred to them. Gregory, though, surprisingly, no. He's, like, maybe, literally the only exception the I can think. Drover. Well, there's always next season. Oh boy. I totally can't see where this is going. <laughs> no, for a realistic fire! <laughs> Jesus. Those are the worst kind. Again, it's not a South Park uh, media oh, if Kenny doesn't that die. Fire looks real. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> yes, put salt on the wounds. 
So there you go. We just got. We, we already got the Kenny dead uh, checklist done. Is that where it's originated from? He's not quite dead yet. Is that where the whole, oh my god, you killed Kenny thing came from? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. I know, I this is the South Park hospital. Long... Okay, this is <laughs> killing Kenny <laughs> this to kill him throughout. Pass hospital. <laughs> Microwave. <laughs> It's a, it's a heart, not a spud. <laughs> okay. Wow, it's a miracle. Wow. Bye. Oh, well. <laughs> Poor Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you were better at your jobs. <laughs> Cartman, everyone. Wow, one of the rare time, one of the rare times where Cartman's mom actually <sighs> finally disappointed. Well, him. she did. Well, she did get better in that regard in recent seasons. Yeah, but that's Whoa. way later down the she's line. She's still a terrible mom, though, because she's irresponsible. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> and even and even past well, that episode, said, it's kind of, of a the rarity. Parents in this movie, even the better ones, aren't exactly great. Well, I'm just talking about in general. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and kind of why I'm sad that they flanderized Stan's dad. <laughs> eh, honestly, I think. <laughs> oh boy. So this is what happened. It looks like. Yeah. Seems legit. Only one Oof. problem. You're. To be fair, you were kind of uh, disobedient and really a bad. Here's person. interesting. Here's an inter yeah, they <laughs> actually uh, contact Metallica to sing this. So. Uh, well, actually, to you, this particular version uh, is sung by Trey Parker, but Metallica are doing the um, the instrumentals. However, in the credits, there is the Met the Metallic ver Metallica That's version. That's awesome. <laughs> But yeah, this version is actually sung by Trey Parker. <laughs> yeah, you can so yeah, go. poor Kenny has to go to CGI help. <laughs> and CGI help. We, we have Hitler in hell. This guy, I don't know who he is. Gandhi? And Gandhi? Gandhi? Gandhi's in hell, apparently. <laughs> well, maybe because he was Hinduist. <laughs> Welcome to hell, everybody. <laughs> and, he, and yet he still managed to be a better hell than the one of Spawn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, here we are. We this, is the, this is the song that actually got nominated for an Academy Award. Yeah, and actually it's the one, my, my favorite one from the movie. And lost to uh, uh, Phil Collins on Tarzan. Because why I'm not? not sure. I'm not sure if this one's my favorite, but it's up there. It's definitely the most commentary fueled one. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, let's not <laughs> yes, use common sense and blame a country. <laughs> <laughs> Out of curiosity, have you guys seen The Amazing World of Gumball? Uh, yeah, I've, I've seen, I've, I've it's seen it's a, a clip here and there because sometimes. Because there's an episode that kind of takes a jab at this as well. Because uh, there were the kids were watching TV, like kids were saying, "Oh, TV and video games are ruining kids." And it's like they should read books. So the kids read books and found out like there are terrible morals in books too. So anything could be corrupted. So one of the parents said, "Hey, maybe we should be <laughs> responsible." And and it just ends with the other parents like, "Nah, they just set the books on fire." Yeah. <laughs> like fire night. Uh... Heck no. <laughs> you know, because Deji was right in saying that I'm easily amused, I love that it's called Mother uh, yes, and Cam Panda, and the acronym is Mac. I still find that funny. <laughs> Wait, 
Alright. Hello, Garden. Sure, she ogre. Well, under your care, they wouldn't be allowed to have any fun anyway. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes. it, this was still one, this was still when Britney Spears was still popular. Oh, I mean, she kind of is, but not as big as we think she is. Yeah. This is before right. she went down. Oh look, guys! This was back when Conan O'Brien was at NBC. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That one's a good one. Uh -huh. Uh, who are you? Yeah, it's a uh, Brook it's, it's Brooke Shields too, the the actress who play with the main character in Blue Lagoon. You know, it's always hilarious when people accidentally swear on live TV. Jesus. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Don't worry, man. You should <laughs> regret even trying to critique Final Fantasy XV in a couple of years. And Conan O'Brien is dead. Oh, well. In the meantime, in the UN. <laughs> Terrace and Philly. Yeah. And, and, and if you notice there, Taylor, what are the thing, other things is uh, X Files filming? <laughs> I don't know any Canadian it's also, that it's says so, so that, funny. though. It's also okay, so in retaliation, oh, what is no. Canada going to do? They're bringing them with... Huh. Things that look like ships from Space Invaders. Oh, the Baldwins. <laughs> and there we go, the Canadians bombed the Baldwins. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, that that must be it. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Mr. Garrison. You will later. You will later. <laughs> That's still one of my favorite jokes this show has ever done. <laughs> Oh, don't, right, don't, don't, don't worry, don't worry, Stan. Nobody can find that thing. <laughs> ah, yes. Remember, remember, remember when when an actual person who knows politics was president of the U.S. No. But yeah, we we also try to do a, a bit of a jab at the Bush administration because why not? <laughs> War criminals. 
Well, they were gonna but, give him a well, trial, well, well, but then well, they well, killed remember, the ball. Remember, remember, remember Shiroi, as far as soccer moms are concerned, uh, swearing on TV is uh, terrorism. Remember Shiroi, they were gonna give him a trial until the Canadians then went ahead and killed the Baldwin brothers. That yeah. was up too far. <laughs> so yeah, now Sheila, aka Kyle's mom, is actually the new Secretary of Defense. And this movie's antagonist... <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, in hell... <laughs> oh, and here is one of my favorite South Park characters, Satan. Oh yeah, hey, it's the guy who had a boxing match against Jesus, but purposely threw it because everyone bent yeah. against him. <laughs> that was awesome. Poor Weird Ken. how they took away his creepy echo voice, but eh, this one's just as cool. It's interesting you mentioned Kenny's voice to uh, Joe, because I got a, I got a oh, cool bit of Oh, I was actually talking about Satan's him. voice. Oh, okay, uh, Satan's voice by Trey Parker. Yeah, I know. It's like, well, in earlier seasons, he always had this creepy deep echo to it. Yeah. Yeah, for some reason now, Saddam, well, obviously Saddam Hussein is in hell, but he's really in love with Satan. Which, I guess, kind of makes sense when you think about it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, true lovers in hell. The best thing is about Saddam is when they combine the photorealistic image with the Canadian style two piece mouth. Oh, actually, yeah, I just remembered something. Another piece of trivia. This is actually one of the. Uh, this was uh, the first soft rock related thing to actually have a fully orchestrated soundtrack with the music done by Mark Shaman, who did also the music for Tarzan and recently Moana. Oh, yeah. Basically, Trey and Matt are huge fans of Brian Boitano, as we will see later. Um, yeah, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Stand. Stand focus. Think with your brain, dude. Maybe that might motivate him. I guess. There you go. <laughs> you need to be a gentleman. Oh, goody. And uh, here we are. This song actually started out in the actual show, but then they decided to, to bring it back in this movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she kind of is. <laughs> of all the songs of this movie, I think this was the one that I heard people sing the most. It's so catchy, it's so fun to sing along to. <laughs> so I can and now in multiple sound. languages. Here we go. Uh, yes. yes, there is an official soundtrack, yes. Of course there is. <laughs> oh, hi, social commentary face. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know. I would have felt oh, sorry. She's, she's just allowing him to finish the song at least. Uh, oh, by all means, maybe the more she's the actually enjoying the song. <laughs> that too. I mean, the music's good. <laughs> you know, I would feel sorry for him, but you earned it after the blackface, so go no, ahead. No, I, I can't feel sorry for him in, in this instance. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so how are we going to wash up um, Cartman's filthy mouth? <laughs> oh, goody. So, electric shock therapy. Yes. <laughs> Oh, 
Hi, Karim. <laughs> Jeez. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Shocking, isn't it? <laughs> Poor yeah. card. Yay! Well, <laughs> oh, I, love, I love this commercial. Good parenting, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> you reap what you sow, indeed. <laughs> it's Zach's <that> Morse. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that is worse. <laughs> well, honestly, I would burn that even if it wasn't kind of... <laughs> <laughs> you know, that chip doesn't stop him from beating the shit out of you. <laughs> Jeez. Why is no one thinking of the children? Yeah. The last thing soccer moms actually think is uh, they're the well-being of their children. Because that's the children sad. That, that, dumb. That's the ironic thing. The last thing soccer moms think about is uh, the well-being of their children. Well, the not so much as they just oh, go about doing it the wrong them. way. Well, Jova, <laughs> like in everything, the truth is in the middle. They're thinking it, but uh, but their actions are not. Uh, going to the advantage of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, granted, back then it was a lot more simple and easier to tell, but nowadays uh, with how things have improved, it's a bit harder to tell, I'll admit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Brian Botano kicks ass! <laughs> Uh -oh. uh, wow, fuck. <laughs> Bye. Wrong celebrity. Yay. Meanwhile, in hell. <laughs> well, well, what you don't see is the writers during production. This is their. This is what they go for. I forgot who was in the poster in the background. Uh, 
Well, I missed it, sorry. I get some celebrity, I guess, but yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, apparently killing turns and feet cause the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Who <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this guy? Saddam Hussein. Yeah. Basically, that you well, yeah. well, you should know you're American. Oh, but like, what, like, what, what year was this made? That's what I was thinking. Like, what? Oh, it was made uh, 1999, I think. This mo this movie came out in 1999. Yes. Uh. Again, Deji, years before Saddam's actual death. Yeah, so I was like, uh... <laughs> all right, let's see. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hold on, there's a twist to it. <laughs> Basically, um, for those who don't see the show, like a cart one of the Cartman's things that she's a, a big dirty slut, a big, and she's in a lot of porn. Yeah, his own mom. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Yes. Hey, uh, <laughs> okay. just checking. Of course. Go ahead, Joe. Time check. Oh, uh, 41, 14, 15, 16, ah. 17. Okay, then. Same. Mm-hmm. I'm a bit ahead, so I'll just pause at 41, 40. <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh, hello, Kenny. Oh, so Kenny. Anyway, Joe, get ready. Uh, mm -hmm. And click. There you go. Apparently. Yes. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Satan has really be has really uh has well, really softened well, softened up over the years. Maybe there's a reason why he couldn't take over God all these millennials. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Sick burn. <laughs> oh yeah, and here's a um, Satan song. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. yes. You see, you see, you see, Dutchy. Satan yearns to live in the world of men. See what it's like. <laughs> So basically, it is a Disney princess. Yes. 
<laughs> you know, it, it reminds me so much. Well, it actually happens later, but yeah, pretty much uh, you know, the the expansion of Saints Row Four also did something like that. Basically, the plot of that is that the protagonist gets kidnapped by Satan for some reason, but it's and at some point Satan and his own daughter actually have a musical number about this <laughs> oh I guess. Uh, rationalization. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I see, Roy. You're just in time to see uh, the Satan uh, do his uh, prince Disney princess song. I guess if all uh -huh. the yes. <laughs> I guess all those years of hating mankind down there have finally done their toll on his mind and gotten him to revert. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 more ironic the fact that he's singing his song in a gospel kind of like yeah yeah, yeah Tra Trey Parker is such a great singer. <laughs> oh goody! I think what's coming up is possibly my favorite song of this musical. Oh yeah, La Resistance. Yeah, it's like all the remix of. Car I can see that being your favorite song. Yeah, 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 cause like I mean, originally, like, well, my favorite song was uh, Kyle's mom's a bee, but now when I heard this song, yeah, this is definitely my favorite of the movie. Definitely one of the best ones. I agree. That's it. That's good enough for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about this. Uh, yeah, this was back when uh, Wendy had her original voice. Uh, but, event but eventually, the I think... Oh, the, yeah, the reason her they, original yeah. voice. Wasn't that... Yeah, our original voice was very this high pitch, as you just heard. But uh, I don't know. I, I think I, I don't know if it was because the original actress couldn't perform do the high pitch anymore because you know age and all that shit. But uh, they I'm... eventually, they eventually went with a more normal voice for her uh, in recent seasons. Great plan. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, now I remember her original voice actress was Mona Marshall. Ah, okay. That's where I remember it from. Same girl who voiced Brave Fancy Masashi. And beat uh... <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Uh, what? Uh, sorry, dude. Wolverine isn't... Uh, you know what? Never mind. They're actually pretty different. Basically, Shuri, the joke is that Wolverine, a Canadian, is played by an Australian. At least my joke, yeah. anyway. I don't know if that's their joke. Uh, their joke uh, is just Jimbo being ignorant. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Okay. Oh, this. oh, this joke. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> Poor chef. Wait, 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 I'll just want. I'll just want to stop. I'll just want to stop. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hello? One. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love this one too. Yep. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, trust me, there was something much worse coming. Little did they know. Yes, yes, there is. Windows Vista. Yay! But but, but 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 that won't help you fix the problem. <laughs> Don't yeah, you see Shira? Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Shira, 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 are you honestly telling me that you secretly, ne never secretly wish that you could do that to Bill Gates? Also, Shira, <laughs> look at it like this. At least it prevents the creation of the Xbox One now. Or Windows yeah. Vista. Yeah, I thought you were talking about Windows Vista. You know what? To be honest, yeah. to be honest, okay, I don't think the, okay. it's as bad as most people make it out to be. No, well, 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 no okay, Windows let me, Vista let me, let me, let is put, uh, Windows 98, not so much, but Windows Vista absolutely is. Terrible. All right, let me give some. Basically, sure. Let me give you some uh, of context. Basically, what uh, Bill Gates was about to try to say before he got killed was, oh, it is oh wait, hold on, guys, it's, it's that follow... song. Uh, oh yeah. All right, sorry. All right. <laughs> <laughs> why are you all, why are you all so gaga for like he's about as interesting as a loaf of bread well he's a guy who seems to be getting stuff done and he hasn't really done anything to make her hate him eh. he doesn't fit he doesn't fit in this whole scenario <laughs> So yeah, Lars is also becomes a medley of all the songs. Yes, yeah, so as you can yeah. see, this is also yeah, a song for of reprises. Mm -hmm. Baby's burning. No, Baby's burping. Oh, I heard burning. <laughs> burning. Well, if he if he wanted baby's burning, all he had to do is stay in hell. So true. Like I said, I just misheard it. <laughs> no! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm sorry, Silly Dodo's made too many good songs to get rid of. <laughs> Guess that means I'm siding with the resistance. Oh, hey, Butters! <laughs> yeah, that's right, this is also back this when was Butters was kind of a background character. Yeah. That's a, that, well, that, that, that was one, of the, one of the greatest decisions was to make him a regular, because Butters is one of my favorites. Anyway, to finish what I was saying, basically, Shiroi, um, one of the big things about Bill Gates every time a new operating system came out was you keep going on about, oh, it's much faster than the previous one, because blah, 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 blah. And every time, of course, we got that new operating system he was talking about, obviously, it wasn't nearly as good as he made it out to be, which is why a lot of people resent him when every time he goes one, into one of his tirades about how much faster the new Windows is. Admittedly, he was kind of telling the truth when it came to, like, the 98 compared to its previous counterpart, as well as the Windows 7. Yeah, for some reason, they skipped quite a few numbers numbers wait a minute or actually what well down. actually it wasn't vista 6 technically that's a trend with microsoft though isn't it we know they can't count yeah 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 and yeah <laughs> and yeah pages does bring up a good point i know but the joke was so obvious anyway though but yeah it's like oh yeah to be fair he was not kidding also when he said that the 7 was way better than vista n8 was technically better than 7 albeit it had quite a few issues and then tank him about which right. is... And Jesus is in the army, apparently. <laughs> huh, I never oh. noticed that before. And, 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 yeah. and, and, and they just did the uh, Full Metal Jacket reference, by the way. Yes. And it, um, What I was going to say... Oh, yeah. It's, the first Windows... Well, not the first Windows, but uh, we, there was 3.1, then there was 95, which I guess would be 4, then 98, which would be 5, I guess, then XP... Wait. Oh, uh, no, never mind, you're right. Uh, Vista would technically be the seventh one. Mm. Hmm, all right. 
Iver Millennium or V-Star not counted. Uh, yeah, Windows 10 doesn't really outright suck, but it really varies Windows for who gets it. Windows 10 was the thing that killed my laptop. Again, again, Windows 10 is objectively <laughs> better than the previous system. The problem is that they kind of made it in a way where you kind of had to get it and for the upgraded uh, computer. So yeah, it technically runs better, but not always with your older software. I mean, oh, hardware. Not to mention, what happened to Windows 9? They just went from oh, 8 to 9. The mole. So this is uh, another movie exclusive character, the mole. Um, and uh, basically, he's going to be the guy who helped, will help us get into the USO show and rescue Terrence and Philip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is my character. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, so Kenny decided uh, managed to convince Saddam, so not Saddam, not Satan, to dump Saddam. And yeah, so even Saddam gets his musical piece. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'll never understand why he is alive now. That is one thing they surprisingly never explain. <laughs> and then by now, I mean well, in the series well, technically continuity. Oh, that. Uh, well, wasn't the last time we saw him, he was um, at nope. Heaven? I mean, yes, 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 yes. The last time we saw him, he was in heaven until the episode where he apparently took over Canada. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was... Now, is that really a bad thing? Was... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> See? I don't... <laughs> Is there anyone that doesn't get a musical number? Uh, um, not really, no. Pretty much everybody does. I mean, and to be fair, the La Resistance one pretty much gave everyone but Saddam a song. Yeah. That was ridiculous. <laughs> in, in a good way. In a good way. <laughs> no, this is probably, like, considering what we've seen before this, this is probably the most ridiculous song in the movie. Um... Particularly visually. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Sure. <laughs> Sucker. You're a moron. <laughs> Sounds like a great show, I guess. <laughs> well, actually, he seems to be... Oh, wait, never mind, we haven't gotten to that episode yet. No, well, actually, Joe, it actually makes sense because, uh, as we saw earlier, he is in the army, so... No, 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 that's Jesus. Ah, Jesus, God, it's basically the same uh, thing. Jova, actually, well, I forgot. they tend I to be I too forgot, Jova. Do, do protest Protestants don't believe in the Holy Trinity? The Holy Trinity, you mean, uh, God, Buddha, and, uh... But, uh no, according, well, yeah, I, I guess it's only a thing for a Catholic. Basically, according to this, man, uh, to this dogma, um, the Holy Trinity of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are three beings at one at the same time. Don't ask. Yeah, yeah. not in our case. Uh, Jesus is just simply God's son. There. All right. Yep. <laughs> this is Big Al. Uh, oh, uh, Big Al is actually one of the um, most popular characters. Forgot the, the early years of the show. Oh, everyone likes dogs. Well, <laughs> some people like cats more. 
I like cats more, but I do like dogs. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, well, he has a point. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think oh, that's I don't think Stan actually understands. Who does understand when they're getting this? <laughs> I love that question. When you charge, so apparently Canadians charge in with hockey sticks. Yes, because the, and that's what that's what Canadians do all the time, hockey. <laughs> Yes, even they don't understand. And they're the Canadians. Okay. <laughs> okay, a uh, bit of a mistake we made. Actually, the mole actually does make a cameo in a later episode of South Park. There you go. Two naked guy, two guys naked in a hot tub. It was. Oh. So maybe Gregory really, literally, is the only character who never makes a return. Which is interesting, considering what happens to him in this movie. But then again, Kenny keeps coming back anyway. So I guess, whatever. What Gregory? Yeah. What happens? You'll see. Oh. Well, I mean, well, I mean, well, I mean, I've seen it, and I. <sighs> never mind. I'll bring it up when we get back. Yeah, you won't have to wait long anyway. <laughs> so apparently that's the sound of a dying giraffe. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> don't, you see, don't you see, guys? He's tortured. <laughs> Punish me. South Park, he, you're solid. He's the, he, he's the cool, badass, tortured character. The Canadian pain. Right. Oh, hey, Winona. <clears throat> she actually recently got a real uh, comeback of her career with uh, si si with Stranger Things. Wait, who is this? Winona Ryder. Wait, is she that kid's mom who got missing? The mom of the kid I got missing? Uh, I don't... Uh... I don't know. The mother that was worried about her. <laughs> uh... That's her ping pong <laughs> trick, ball trick. <laughs> oh, okay. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she has some mom. All right. All right. Yeah. Big guy, Al. Yeah. I like <laughs> this song. Eh, don't worry, nobody rehearsed in this movie. Just roll with it. Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, for those who haven't seen the show, Big Guy Al's catchphrase is, I'm super, thanks for asking. And they decided to go ahead and make a full blown song out of that catchphrase. <laughs> you see, we, we gays were always rehearsed for a musical number, no matter what. <laughs> oh, of course. Makes sense, I guess. Okay. <laughs> you get a hat out of it. <laughs> I just... Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't say that he's gay. One second. Sure. sure. Hmm. Oh. Uh -huh. Ah, jeez. <laughs> you moron. Come on. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee. <laughs> no, just leave me behind. Go on without me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, right, we forgot to give this guy a song. And this song is actually a reprise of La Resistance, kind of. Yep. Wow, <laughs> cried. <laughs> How tragic. Sweat prince. Typical, the best character in oh, the movie. Oh, shit. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, I don't blame him. I mean, she's his mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very, very anonymous. Yes. Uh, nobody can ever guess who he is. <laughs> yeah, admittedly, that does kind of sound a bit crazy yeah. when you blurt mm -hmm. it out like that. Even in a world where we actually have met Satan and seen him in a boxing match. Oh shit, the Canadians are attacking. The British are coming. The British are away. Yeah, only some of the Canadians are British. Oh. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit, that's packing. <laughs> it's all out more. But that's okay, guys, because Stan finally found the clitoris. Uh, okay. <laughs> of course he did. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> Cheeks love confidence. <laughs> okay, now Did he's you... being a dick. Well, even Wendy kind of looked at him like, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 
<laughs> better better leave him die laughing. <gasps> Mr. Garrison. Oh, come on, we have to save Mr. Hat. <laughs> yeah, who cares? He'll become irrelevant anyway. <laughs> but wait a minute, wait a minute. You didn't need that area. What the hell? <laughs> so it's a joke that all the human shields are black guys. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's the idea that <laughs> Ready? But it's okay, but it's okay because uh um... Take ah! cover! <laughs> take that take that, racist pigs. <laughs> Oh yeah! I agree. <laughs> See, like this is one of the reasons why I like show. I actually didn't know the actor had died, so I, I was just wondering where he was for a lot of the seasons. It's doing an anger over a Scientology thing. Yeah, that and uh, he died in 2011. Although so it's that, weird that, that, because they actually did. No, bring I didn't know about the Scientology thing either. Uh, when they when they bring Darth Shabby, he use only recycled clips. So. Yeah, it's yeah, weird in, in, though. In stick, of, in, stick, in stick of truth, um, all of his uh, voice clips are recycled. The really odd thing though is like, well, Darth Chef, I'm pretty sure is voiced by someone else because, well, even so, they clearly have a voice filter. So surprised they didn't do anything with Darth Chef, which they could have. Maybe we just wanted to respect, uh, you know, as a yeah. case. Yeah. Even though they yeah. killed him off just to spite him. I don't think it was just to spite him. It was just their way of writing the character off the off the yeah. show. Because, like they said earlier, he he wanted out of the show. Although, yeah, kind of weird that through. they brought him back as Darf Chef is the weird thing, though. Then, oh, okay. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's the children who protect in uh, freedom of speech. Ironically, these days it's children who are trying to prevent freedom of speech. Uh, you sure about that, Sir Roy? Have you been on the internet? Uh, yes, I've been on the internet and I paid attention <laughs> to the likes of the US presidential election and the Brexit voting. And who were the majorities who voted for the bad decisions in those cases? Well, from what I've seen, the internet the seems to be... People, yeah. Seems to be mostly. Yeah, what about Ike? Your brother he, um... is Canadian, technically. Yeah. Yeah, and your son. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> well, fuck. And the blood oh, spilled. Shit. We have ourselves a problem I was saying now. Was, the internet just seems to be just if you can't be nice about everything, then keep your mouth shut. He's already yeah. dead, so he can't be killed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> wow, so it's official. She is actually more evil than Donald Trump, since despite all of his uh, nonsense, God, this actually hasn't see, happened. We can't go one day without mentioning him. <laughs> Come on, Satan, man up. Yeah, you're better than that. It's okay, because we have an unexpected weapon. Swearing! Here's an interesting thing. Um, um, not, of course, now this is an actual uh, weapon that Cartman has, and they actually used it in the Stick of Truth game as one of his most powerful attacks. Yeah, they yeah. did. <laughs> I love this one. Listen. <laughs> oh no, it's not yet. Okay. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Come on. <laughs> <man. laughs> hey -o. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So it's a mixture of Dragon Ball Z and uh, Episode Six of Star Wars. Uh, We <laughs> have a nice fall. See you in winter. Ow. And that kills him. Huh. Okay. I guess since he was in hell, he lives in hell, so maybe he can die within hell, but nowhere else. So maybe. I, don't I know. guess that maybe means I'm he's just pulling more, this out uh, of my ass. <laughs> more, more, more like uh, they didn't really know what to do, so they were just doing, let's do random things. No, 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 no. It's simple, well, I, like, I like my theory. <laughs> no, no. It's simple, Dizzy. He died in hell, so he's going to go to, of course, New Jersey of Detroit. <laughs> Okay, here's the interesting thing. Usually in the show, it's Matt Stone who plays uh, Kenny. However, they actually got a very special guest to voice Kenny in this goodbye scene. Oh. Oh, Mr. <laughs> there you go. Oh. <laughs> Here we go, we finally get to see Kenny's face. The the guy who just played that line that Kenny said, that was actually Mike Judge, the creator of Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> really? Yep. Huh. You know, I like how later episodes like to pretend we haven't seen Kenny's voice. <laughs> Status quo. Oh, it's okay though, because during the Michael Jackson episode, we pretty much do get to see his race anyway, just with a mask. And let's not forget uh, the reveal of uh, Mysterion's face, even yeah. though at the time we didn't know it was Ken. Ah. Yeah, the Coon trilogy is so many years old, uh, Jova. That's the joke. Ha! Yeah, she never did really, you know, love him. And here's Mountain Town Reprise. Yay. Hold up for one moment. <laughs> but now Kenny, Kenny, as a reward for actually doing good in his final moments, now gets to go to heaven. Awesome. Yay. Okay, and uh, and now here are some uh, the actual album versions of um, of the songs uh, that you get to listen for the credits, including the Metallica version of uh, uh, "Little Boy, You're Going to Hell," but not now. Right now, it's the Brian Boitano song. <laughs> okay, so that was Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, let's Edgy, go first. How about you go first? Since you have a new one. I guess he's BRB, though. Oh, okay, yeah, Shiroi. Oh, uh, shouldn't Go ahead, Shiroi. Ah, go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, like I said at the start, I love this movie. The humor, the music. These are some of my favorite songs in any TV show, actually, and I do like musicals. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, still haven't been able to see the Book of Mormon. Oh, yeah! Yet. Warner Brothers. <laughs> uh, this was back when Warner Brothers actually helped out with the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, everything about the... I haven't really got a bad word to say about this movie at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Eric I'm Idle done. was in this. Yeah, that not, too. not much to say, really. This is a great movie. Yeah, this is uh this is one of my favorite movies and for good it's uh it's it's hilarious as always. It's got some really sharp commentary that still uh, is true to, to it still holds up to this day. Um the the songs are great, the music is great. 
Uh, the animation, of course, is meant to be simplistic, and of course, there's a, that uh, unreplaceable charm to it. Uh, and as always, the voice acting is phenomenal. So overall, it's just a brilliant... Uh, it's just like with every single thing Trade Matt do. It's disgusting, it's ridiculous, it's insulting, it's offensive. But it's but also it's brilliant. Awesome. But it's also <laughs> brilliant and full of sharp commentary that but doesn't pull any punches. Go ahead, too. I really love this movie. I mean, usually I don't like uh, musicals or, you know, movies with too many songs in it, but I just can't help but smile at least even smile even the worst moments of this movie because it's so damn funny just it captures south park to a t and uh that's what south park is uh, making you laugh non-stop but even with the things uh, or things you don't imagine and it still and while this movie clearly is dated on multiple times uh, it's still timeless for even the message you wanted to tell uh of you know the social moms and everything, Freedom and because speech. we kind of have we kind of have similar problems uh, these days, so it, it's also a bit fitting. But regardless, still an awesome movie to see when I, whenever I want. So yeah, definitely one of the best movie adaptation of our TV show ever, <laughs> and one of my favorite movies that in general. Yeah. Sure, go, go ahead, Jova. Yeah, this movie is downright hilarious. <laughs> and, uh, you know, for something that does involve religious stuff, it actually uh, is nice enough to the note. I mean, it actually does pay mind to the part of the Bible where it says that, that Satan isn't actually the monster a lot of people make him out to be, surprisingly <laughs> enough. Go figure. Well, yeah, he, in, this, in this movie, He's kind of Disney princess, so mm -hmm. <laughs> which actually may kind of make sense given you know what the Bible characterizes him as. I mean, I guess you can just say that all those years of hating mankind finally got to him and he realized how dumb it was. But yeah, mm -hmm. uh, this movie again, social commentary wonderfully done. It does definitely go to show just how some a lot of parents can go about trying to govern how their kids do stuff a little too deeply to the point where it does more harm than the actual subject matter they're trying to quote-unquote protect them from. So yeah, well done allegory message here. And of course, the humor. Again, like Tio said, even in this movie's worst moments, it's just hard not to laugh at it. I reserve the right not to laugh, but hey, it's still so funny. I mean, well, yeah. that's the point of South Park. It's supposed to make you laugh. Mm -hmm. Not just laugh, but think, but think as well with its great commentary. Yeah. Admittedly, it doesn't always do the whole thinking thing. I mean, well, I mean, don't get me wrong. Well, it does I, that I more guess. often than not, but it's still pretty good. Oh, Aww. shoot. Oh. oh. We gotta get him out of there eventually. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, uh yeah, going back to my thoughts. Oh, the songs. The songs are so good. Albeit it's kind of hard to get to sing them because admittedly they are very derogatory and in some cases just outright filled with swearing. That said though, Law Resistance is still my absolute favorite. Mm -hmm. And uh yeah. Uh, everything comes together just well, culminating to when we finally get to see Kenny's face. And I do like mm -hmm. how the show, for the most part, does uh, treat this continuity-wise. Yeah, it does. Uh, basically, Stewie, like I was trying to say, um, the explanation of how the hell that Saddam death works is actually going to be explained in the show itself, uh, in an episode that actually takes place after the movie. Again, which so... is a shame that they never explain why he's alive in that later episode, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Mm -hmm. We actually start right. commenting Man, on Did you want to add your thoughts too? I liked it. Watching it again, I realized, huh, this is actually still pretty funny and holds up. I haven't seen the show in years because I would always laugh way too much. Plus, I was way too young and I really shouldn't have been watching it. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't lie. You've all done it at one point. Oh, actually, I, I never I really saw the show I was until I was, I was older because I never I really had it. I started watching it back when it first came out, but then the main reason for that is just because uh, like a cartoon that swore, like that was so out there that I just couldn't, even if I didn't understand most of the social commentary that, that happened. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, 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 I just the song, no, the song, this show, at roughly the age of 12? 
Yeah, that's about how I started as well. I heard about the show, like, by the age of, I don't know, 13 or 14, but I never really got into watching it until I was well of age because it just never really interested me until, like, uh... Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, right. so anyway, so that was South Park Baker Logger and, uh, and Uncut. Uh, tune in next time when we watch Trey and Matt's other movie, Team America World Police. See ya. I See ya. That and then we yeah. eventually, yes. some way, somehow, get a recording of the Book of Mormon. Oh, yes, yes. I would love to actually finally get to watch that musical at some point because I, oh, I can't. Oh, you've never because seen that... it? It's pretty good. No. Oh, it, it never showed music, in London and I, Bro- I Broadway musicals see it. Broadway musicals never come my to my country. So I'm kind of fucked. <laughs> you know what you need to do years. over in Portugal? Make sure that like you that you guys have a bigger Hollywood setting of Anyway, sorts. we dragged the ideas a bit, so yeah, yeah see you for then the next uh, stream thing. See you then. See you, everybody. See ya. See ya.